Hey there, I'm Elisa and welcome to Purse Buzz. So Valentine's Day is right around the corner and I wanted to do a fun nail polish look. So I wanted to do something with hearts and a little sparkle. Hopefully you guys enjoy it and if you're interested in seeing more, don't forget to subscribe. First thing you're going to do is apply a base coat to your nail. So I'm going to be using my Get Even from Zoya. And it's going to fill in all of the ridges and it's going to help my nail polish apply a lot easier. Now I'm going to apply my base color and that's going to be Dana and it's a bright magenta cream color from Zoya. The next color I'm going to be using is Janisa, which is a frosty white color. It's slightly sheer. And I'm just going to put that right here on my disc so I can use it. I'm going to apply a generous amount. The next color I'm going to be using is another Zoya color. It's this pearly pink called Angel. I'm going to put it right next to my white color. You just want to have a nice variety of pink. And then I'm going to put a little bit of Dana right next to that. And you can see that's what I'm going to be working with when I create my gradients on my fingernail. Okay, so then I'm going to take a sponge just like this. It's my favorite part. Take one edge. And I'm going to tab it right at the base of my nail. Then I'm going to take that light pink and apply that to the middle part of my nail like that. And then the last color which is that white frost right at the tip. Now I'm just going to gently tap it and blend. And this is the result you're looking for. It goes from dark pink to lighter pink to white frosty tip. Now I'm going to take a black frosty nail polish and I'm just going to dab it all over here onto the disc. This is my XOXO nail polish, slightly getting dry there, so it's a little bit thicker than I'd like. I'm going to create a small heart on the tip of my nail. So I'm going to take my little art brush here, take a generous amount. You can also use like a bobby pin. And I'm going to put two dots as my guideline for the heart. And I'm going to make it a little bit larger and then I'm going to connect it just like that. You got your little heart there. Okay, while you're waiting for that to dry, I'm going to do my little XOs. So I'm going to take the main brush for my nail polish. Now this is up to you where you want to put the X and the O. I want to put the X right here, right underneath. And I'm going to make it a little artistic, so I'm going to swing my little nail over just like that. And I'm going to swing this over like that. And then I'm going to go right over that to thicken and darken up that extra line. The X just like that. So for the O, I'm just going to do little dots. And then I'm going to connect it. Like that. Okay, now I'm going to let that dry. Now it's optional. You could put a little rhinestone in the middle of the O if you'd like. Okay, while I'm waiting for it to dry, I'm going to apply a little bit of a white nail polish right onto my disc here. And I'm going to take a Q-tip, or you can take anything that is pointy like this. And you're going to go right on top of that black heart. With the same technique, just do two dots. And your third. And you're going to connect it. And then you're going to build your heart to create almost a little bit of a 3D heart. And on this side, I'm going to completely cover the black. I'm going to sharpen up the little bottom right there, and I'll be done. Once your nail is dry, you're going to apply a top coat. And that completes the nail tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I thought it was really cute and sparkly. If you're interested in doing any other nail tutorials or anything like that, I'd love to see your requests below in the comments, and I'll do my best. Thanks again for joining at First Buzz, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!